Hi guys, I am here for food and wine. I finally made it over, I'm so excited. I got my first scan towards my little um, cutting board. I'm super excited, I'm gonna get my magnet today. Ryan will be joining me with Leah and her sister. So we're gonna, once they get here, then we'll head out into the world and eat a little bit. But it's gonna be a good day, follow along. Whatever was broken the other day uh, that was pouring out water over here has been fixed because not only is it no longer leaking, but Spaceship Breath is open again. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, I remembered my keys. Ah! So this year for Remy's Hide and Sweet, they have cups. Um, they have these cute little 16 ounce cups. I see Remy, Figment, Mickey, and Minnie. And they're like, they're almost 3D-ish. And they're really nice. They're a nice reusable plastic cup. Ooh, I might have to get all four this year. So here's something we didn't get to show the other day. It is like really blurry. So I hope I can get a spot where you can actually see them. But they have limited edition food and wine pins. They have a Mickey. They have a Timon and Simba. This one's my favorite. They have a Cinderella who baked a grumpy pie. They have a Donald Duck, and oh, that's actually the last one. So there's one, two, three, four different ones, and I'm not sure how much they are. So those limited edition food and wine pins are $16.99, and they're like, they're a good size pin, and it looks like there's some weight to them. They're a high quality pin, so that's actually not a bad price for what you're getting with those pins. Uh, Lee, we might have to get that Snow White one, because you know how much I love her. So guys, I almost forgot to mention, I'm wearing my my favorite table food and wine shirt that I got from the Brookhart Project. They are awesome. They have their own line of clothes now. So um, I will put a link to their blog and their um, website below so that you would have access to their shows. I love this shirt because we always use the trash cans during food and wine. The best, they're actually the cleanest spot to eat in Epcot during food and wine. And it looks like here in Mouse Gears, they also have some limited edition um, food and wine specific Pandora charms. They have a Figment annual pass holder one, and then they have just a two piece. It's the Dangle charm for the food and wine, and then it has the Mickey that goes along with it as a slider. And here is the Dooney and Burke design for this year's food and wine. This is actually really, really cute. It has Chef Figment, Chef Mickey, and Chef Minnie. And the back is just kind of a repeat of the design. And it looks like they have the over-the-shoulder purse, which is 198. They have it in a little clutch, which is $98. And then they have it. And then they also have the tote. I don't like the tote as much. Although it does have figment on the back. So it's Mickey on the front and figment on the back. And the tote is $268. Guys, there's no Alex and Annie for food and wine this year. What the heck? Lee, you're saved. I cannot buy a food and wine Alex and Annie. So I just saved you 40 bucks. So I've started finding some of the food and wine merch. Here are the official 2018 food and wine years. And they, they are dated, just so you know. I like it how they're like almost like a cork design. They are $24.99. And when you look at the ears, look at how good they match the spirit jersey. And there is a 2018 spirit jersey, and look at how cute the back is. It says, taste your way around the world. And the spirit jersey, the ears were $24.99, and this is $59.99. They also have this really light, um, it's like a hooded t-shirt, but it's a really thin one. And it says, International Food and Wine Festival 2018, and this is $42.99. The black is plain, and it just has a little hoodie. This is good for come like February, and I'm going to start getting a little chill. And this year's ornament, they have a glass uh, wine bottle that's in the barrel of grapes. So it says, taste your way around the world, food and wine 2018. This one is $14.99. Then they have like a chip and dip tray, it's wood. This one is $34.99. This actually, it's got some weight to it. And then in case you were concerned about how small the Mickey one is, they have a larger food and wine cutting board. This is not an annual pass holder, anyone can get this. And this one is $24.99. 
And then these are good to get if you plan on walking and eating. It's a little tray. It'll hold your glass and your food all in one, so you only have to use one hand. It is $6.99, and this is reusable, so you can bring it back if you're having multiple trips. So this year's theme clearly is Taste Your Way Around the World. They do have the baseball cap for $24.99, and the t-shirt, I actually like this t-shirt a lot, is $29.99. I didn't even realize. I thought the back was plain. It's not. It has every one of the pavilions listed on the back. I really like the shirt. They have this really cool chip and dip platter. It says taste your way around the world. Oh man, it is heavy though. It is $36.99 and it is ceramic and that thing weighs probably close to five pounds. It's really heavy. They have a women's tank top. This is International Food and Wine Festival 2018 and it has like a little bow at the bottom. And this one is $32.99. Then they also have a golf shirt. This is a really nice, this is a Nike um, wickaway material. And it is $65, but it's gray and it has the 2018 Food and Wine logo on it. I know Ryan showed this the other day, but I have to show it again. Because one thing he did not point out was it has the words of the song to Figment and Imagination on it. I love this service and so does Jeremy. Um, yeah. I might not wait. I'm This I might actually have to pay full price for because it's just, it's beautiful. And I should probably also tell you how much it is because that would help. It is $26.99, but it's the 24 ouncer and it, it is a turvis. It's an actual turvis. So um, yeah, these are great. And this is the non-annual pass holder figment shirt for this year. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, germ, we might have to get this for you. It's $27.99. The back is plain. This one has nothing on the back. But look at how cute Figment is. He's big. The fork is bigger than him. And then they have the Figment um, apron. My brain is not working today. Which also has the words, oh, this is cute too. I wish I used them because I would get this. But it would just sit in the closet because I don't actually use an apron. And the Figment, Figment apron is $29.99. Then they also have a four pack of coasters, ceramic coasters. One says food and wine, one has the words to the song, and then one has, oh, this one has the words to the song too with the chef figment, and then just chef figment with the date, and it is $19.99 for the four pack. Then they have the women's figment shirt, which is just his head on the Epcot ball, and it has the date on it. Um, it is purple, and it is $32.99. Aha, uh -huh. and then here's some of the pass holder merch. They have a Figment pass holder pin. It's super blurry. That's the outside, and then inside is Figment. Um, looks like you can get two per guest. And then look at these cups. They have a mini and a Figment. And I can't tell if that's glitter on the bottom or what, but those are really cute too. And then this is the pass holder shirt. And it has the words to the song, Germ. Oh my gosh, no, this is the shirt we need to get Germ. And for the pass holder shirt, it is $27.99. And there is nothing on the back. And then here is all the pass dates, the pass um, items and the dates they're released. So here's all the figment stuff and the dates it's been released. Although you did say the picture's sold out right now. The picture is sold out, but they do still have the glasses. And then on September 20th, they'll be releasing the Goofy stuff. Oh, that's a cute one. And then on October 18th, they'll be releasing the Remy line. That's really cute. And then it looks like the Pandorich annual pass holder charm is $65. All right, so I really like these glasses. They're $14.99 each. Woo, blurry, they say 2018 pass holder. And then the one is Figment, and then the other one is Mini. And then on September 20th, they'll be releasing a Mickey one. And, and then they also have the pass holder cinch bag. And as you saw in the other one, it is $22.99. I'm not crazy about these, I don't know. These are just not my favorite kind of bag. They also have this cute little 2018 Food and Wine Mickey coffee cup. It is $15.99, and Mickey and the Food and Wine are like raised, um, so it's kind of cool. And then they also have the Taste Your Way Around the World salt and pepper shakers, and they are $9.99 each, and they match my shirt. And then they have the Food and Wine, the glass wine glass, which is $14.99. And then right next to it, they have the Turvis wine glass, um, which is $24.99. This one is plastic. Then they also have an Epcot International Food and Wine tote bag that says Taste Your Way Around the World 2018. This is not a big bag. It's only about two of my hands long, and it is $29.99. 
And then the last thing I see here in mouse gears is the bottle stopper set. That's a food and wine festival 2018. And for the set of two, it is $12.99. So now we're gonna head into the festival center so we can check out what's inside and hopefully the line won't be long so I can get my magnet. So I just came in to the festival center. Now we're gonna walk around and see what they have. The first thing here is I believe during the day it says Spotlight Stage. They do different shows and stuff here. There's none going on right now though, so it's all closed off. To the right is the Simmering Sips Mimosa Bar, where they have mimosas as well as like, looks like they have some danishes and like um, pastries. Right next to the left of the Simmering Sips is the Craft Draft Stand. And this is where they'll have um, a different selection of beers, including some different flights that you can get. And when you sign up for the different classes and stuff, they're right here um, in the festival center. So this is one of the tasting classes. So they have like some glasses with um, bits of the different drinks to try. And then this is one of my favorite spots, storing food and wine, because they sh usually have free Giardelli chocolate. And it looks like the flavor here is milk chocolate vanilla caramel. I've never had this before. I'm super excited. In the back, they have a whole bunch. These are all made with chocolate. And they have a bunch of little scenes. It's like a competition. So this one was made um, by a team from Hollywood Studios. So of course it's Toy Story themed. Oh, this one is themed to Black Panther. This is cool. I love this. Look at the statue. Look at the glitter on the... This is really cool. Yeah. And it looks like this one was made by the Animal Kingdom Lodge and titled Wakanda Forever. I spy a hidden Mickey. And now my camera won't zoom in. Do you see them in there? Do you see the little hidden Mickey pumpkin? But this one is, the glare is terrible. This one is a headless horseman themed. I'll try and get around to get a better angle here. Uh, there you can kind of see them a little better. And then you have Ichabod Crane hiding in the back behind. And there's an awesome little owl up in the tree. And this is the legend of Sleepy Hollow and it was made by the Boardwalk Inn. And next we have our Dia de los Muertos Coco celebration. Wow, this one is amazing. They look spot on. They did a fantastic job. Look at Grandma, she looks amazing. And they have a bunch of flakes of chocolate and the little sugar skulls. And look at the um, the picture they recreated in chocolate. And this was made by the Epcot Production Bakery and the title is Coco. Now here's one that I follow closely to my heart. It is Maui from the Polynesian Resort. It is the Polynesian Tiki Totem, and it was obviously made by the Polynesian Resort and Village. And I love how they made um, the hard candy to make like the lava rock and the water and the flowers. There's so much detail in these, they're beautiful. Uh -huh, I was gonna say, there's usually a Disney nature one, and this one is the, an African leopard resting in the savanna, and this was made by the Grand Floridian, and that is, so hard to see. Oh, there you go. That is really beautiful. Gosh, the detail. I mean, look at the, look at how realistic the leaves look. It's just amazing. And then outside of Giardelli, there's a bunch of little stands. So they have the Cutco stand where you can buy all your cutlery. Then they have the marbleized um, shawls where you can make your own shawls. And then they have a festival stand in the back where you can get some more gear. Oh, and they have some things I haven't seen. Oh, this is cool. Brews around the world. I love that. And then you, as you get all the different brews, you can fill this in with the bottle caps. That is really unique. I like that. And this is, oh, it's actually only 40 bucks. That's not bad. And they have just a bruise, just a bruise around the world magnet. I thought this was a bottle opener, but it's literally just a magnet and it's $9.99. Then they also have the Bruise Around the World baseball cap, which this does have a bottle opener in it. And the cap is $26.99. They 
They also have the mini keg for beers around the world, brews around the world, and that is $39.99. Then they have a different t-shirt here, and this one's color scheme. It's just a food and wine festival shirt. And, oh, it is a bruise around the world, I was gonna say, because the color scheme matches. And it does have the bruise around the world design on the back, and this one's $29.99, and it really matches the hat perfect. I like it. Oh my gosh, Kirsten, look at how cute these are. Oh my God, this is adorable. <gasps> these are so cute. They're four, looks like they're all $14.99 a piece and they are adorable. Look at the Mickey apple. <gasps> I love these. Looks like they also have a bruise around the world glass pub cup. Um, it's $14.99 for the glass. And then they also have a tank top that is $29.99. Then they also have a food and wine pavilions wine glass that's $14.99 and this one's a stemless. I like these ones. Then they have a much larger taste your way around the world um, coffee cup. This is probably about tw almost <clears throat> a third of the size bigger than the other one, than the Mickey one, and this one is $15.99. All right, and then they have a Mickey set for the food and wine and the Mickey women's shirt is $36.99. And then they have a wooden keychain that's $6.99. This one's actually really cute. They have a dish towel set. It's just one dish towel and an oven mitt. And it's $21.99 for the set. And then the Mickey Turvis, which I don't like as much as the Figment. And this one is the same. It's the, 20, the uh, 24 ounce and it's $26.99. And words are just not working today, I'm sorry. <gasps> Ooh. Look at the pie plate. This I like. Ooh. Think of Lee, think of all the chicken pot pies I could make in this. And this one's $24.99. And again, it's a ceramic one. And it's um, it's heavy. And that obnoxious noise is Ryan playing with one of these. It is the Mickey Pepper Grinder, and it's $24.99. And then here's the mate to the taste your way around the world um, salt and pepper shaker, and it's the Mickey one, and this one's also $9.99. And then we move into the ratatouille set, and they have a ratatouille, it's two tea towels. Oh, and here's the designs, if it'll focus, and it's $21.99. And then they also have the Remy apron. Oh, it has a little heart on it. Oh, that's so cute, and it's a little pocket. And this one is this one is also $29.99. This one, I like it. And then we have a Remy uh, women's Remy shirt, although it looks like a little girl's, and it's a weird material. And it's $32.99, but it's like really soft. I don't, it's weird. And then they have all, the, of course, the gift cards where you can get the gift cards that hook on your wrist. And like we're going to do on one of the purple ones because that's just the way the design is for this. They all have that. So they have a purple one, a blue one, and a yellow one. And these are these are the ones that you can get, you can put any amount of money on and then you can use them at the kiosk so you don't have to keep pulling out your card and charging over and over again. Because um, some banks will flag your card for fraud when you do that. So a gift card is definitely the way to go. All right, so here in the Festival Center, they do still have some of the pictures left. They were sold out in um, Mouse Gears, but they have them back here, so check everywhere. So today is the day to get the magnet because I'm literally walking right up. There's nobody waiting. Make sure you have your ID though, because you have to show your annual pass and a photo ID. Yeah. So after the festival shop, there's a wine shop, and right to the left of the wine shop is the actual entrance to pick up your annual pass holder pin and the cutting board. Now, one thing I did not realize, that you only need one ID per party to pick up your magnets. So Lee had forgotten her ID, but she was still able to get her magnets with her magic band, so that was awesome. And then next to the wine shop is the Disney Family Wines, where you can actually get wine flights and different samples of all the different wines that are offered in the shop. And directly across from that is the Perfect Cup, um, where it kind of has a little video where you can sit and relax for a little. They sell some of the Joffrey's coffee here that you can get in the resorts, and they have a video that talks about how they make the coffee and all. And it's, it's a nice little break where you can sit and relax in the air conditioning when it gets really hot as well. And that brings us all the way around the full circle. So now we're gonna head back out and I am starving. So let's go get some food. Okay, and then inside behind Club Cool, they have the Light Lab, which is like a black lit experience. I'm so excited. So it is wicked cool in here. 
I don't know. I have to see the menu. So here's just how you're, and it's very cool because it's also educational in here because all the different things explain how carbonation works, how your taste buds work with different things. So this counts as school for all our homeschoolers out there. And then back here is where they use science to create all of the drinks. And they have the boba balls in it and they glow and it's so much fun. Ooh, and here it is. Look at how pretty. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, guys. All right, so here they are. This one is a coconut lime. This one is blue raspberry. And was this one grape? Yeah. And I think this one was grape. Grape lemonade or something? Some Something grape. Awesome. All right, Bri. So what do you think? You haven't drank it yet. You just tried the blue thing. <laughs> That face says everything. It looks really tart. Very overbearing. But they come with like the reusable. We think they're the reusable ice cubes. No, that is like overbearing the coconut and nothing else. Oh, so I won't be drinking the coconut one. This face says it all. At this point, we're drinking them to get the ice cubes. And because we paid for them. <laughs> not good. Oh my gosh. This does not taste good. <laughs> so the best part of those drinks was the reusable ice cube. And now I can't get it to... What did I do? Oh, uh, this is a yellow one. This was in the... It's like a yellow, red, and green one. And then we have another yellow one and a red one. And then we have a, these plastic cups are awesome. Save these cups because they go through the dishwasher beautifully. I have a bunch that we had from, well, like four that we have from Flower and Garden and I save them and we still have them. And they go through the dishwasher on the top rack like multiple times a week. They haven't lost shape or anything. These are great to save. And then outside of the Light Lab where you can get the non-alcoholic drinks, you can get all the alcoholic versions. Next Eats is open. Let's head in and see what they have this year. So Ryan decided he found the first thing he wants. We stopped at Coastal Eats and he's gonna get the lump crab cake. Um, he's on his own for that one because I don't do seafood. All right, so here's Ryan's crab cake. It looks like it's on some kind of like coleslaw. So uh, Ryan's gonna try it. We'll let you know how it is. All right, Ryan, so what's the verdict? It's good. <laughs> so no sharing? I mean, if you want some. No, it's all yours. Next, we're gonna head on down the culinary corridor and check out the, I believe it's the chocolate and cheese section. Oh, cheese. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these ones. little photo op over in the wine studio. Get in, Rye. Show me how well you stomp those grapes. That was amazing. I'm finally getting something to eat that I will eat. We're here in New Zealand and we're gonna get a lamb meat, the lamb meeple and the venison sausage. So I'm super excited for these. All right, so here in New Zealand, we got the venison sausage and the lamb meatball. So we're gonna try them and see how they are. Now they said this one's spicy, and oh, I yeah, see a lot of seeds, so seeds. I'm probably not gonna like this one. All right, my jolly green giant. So what'd you think of the venison? So the venison's good, it's just not fresh. I like the venison, I thought it was good. What'd you think of the lamb meatball? That was good, falls apart. 
It does, it's melt in your mouth. He didn't think it was spicy. I don't do any spice at all, so it did have a little kick to me. I could still eat it. I can taste I just, it had like a strange flavor to it, and it wasn't like the meat itself. It was something they put it in it. It had like potato in it. It was like, no, that's not it. It's one of the spices they put in, it, almost like a cilantro, and it just wasn't, I didn't um, like it, I don't know. But um, I would get the venison again, for sure. Mm -hmm. So over here by Test Track, they have the family play zone, which is presented by Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet. And it's just a little play area for the kids. But this year, there is no shade. I can't believe they have zero shade over here. It's hot when the sun's out. All right, so me and Ryan designed our vehicle for power. So we have 99 power. And Leah and Ariana designed theirs for efficiency. They have, look at this thing. It is ridiculous. It looks like a doom buggy. That is crazy. But they have 99 efficiency, so let's see who's gonna win. Right there, right at the very end there. That's our car on the top of today's most powerful vehicles. And you're number one for today's most efficient. That's pretty awesome. So, I'm about to show you something absolutely unheard of. I don't know if you can see all the way over there, but Soren is only a 15 minute wait. You heard me right, folks. One, five, 15 minutes. That's walk on. What? Yes, we are definitely doing this. So as usual, Brian's ignoring me, but we've been in line for all of about 35 seconds. Yeah. And we're already about to get on the ride. So 15 minutes, it is not. Is anyone up for a little journey into imagination? Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. <laughs> With that you can see things differently. <laughs> So we just came out of um, Journey into Imagination. So there's the Flavors of Fire in the Light Lab. There's the Imagination Pavilion. This stand right here is the only stand um, where you can get the gourmet popcorn that has the flavors of sour cream and chive, buffalo blue cheese, and cheddar cheese. The flavor machine is down for refurbishment for three weeks. There will be no flavored popcorn here for three weeks. So the only flavors right now in Epcot are the maple in Canada and caramel in Germany. All right, well that's gonna do it for us here at my first trip to food and wine. Um, it's hot. Woo. But there's nobody here, there's no wait times. At so apparently, this is a good week to be here right after oh, Memorial Day. The, Labor Day, wait, what? Labor Day. Ooh, she's standing on the fountain. But um, again, if you like following these adventures, please click that subscribe button. Ready? And we're on to, to the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Because she doesn't know it. <laughs> they have trivia here today. Fun fact, here at Epcot, if you walked from Canada to Mexico, how many miles and how many countries did you cover? They sh usually have free Godiva chocolate, or excuse me, free Giardelli chocolate, because my brain is not working today. And this one is missing a price tag. Where is it? All right, it is wicked cool in here. Yeah, they have all like glow in the black light drinks. Is there any just, good drinks? I don't know. I'm going to try and see the menu. All right, my jolly green. Am I recording? Yes. All right, my jolly green giant. All right, so over by Test Track, the Family Play Zone, which is presented by... So my heart is broken. The flavor machine is down for refurbishment for three... I don't know my fingers. Ready? And now it's time to the next... What? What is it? It's on to the next adventure. All right, ready? One, two, three, and we're on to the next adventure. Because she doesn't know it.